Kolaris, I choose you. Chiggy check, check, boom, boom. Chiggity check, check, chiggity check, check. All right, ready to go? So I have a thing about synthesizers. Uh, it's not rocket science. It, it is, it is definitely rocket science. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Second Born Break. We graduated. Sound gym validated. I feel like doing a Trump right there. That was weird. What's up, YouTube? That was not a good impression at all. This is going to be my second foray into synthesizer land on this channel. So, warning! This is a review of a synthesizer. And here's a little reminder. If you want to talk technical, if you want to talk details, let me know in the comments. But I'm not actually that guy. I'm a, I'm a turn knob guy, it sounds good guy. I'd rather just be a fan of the technical guys that are out there and stick to what I'm passionate about. If you are a synthesizer snob, um, if you could, if you could just go ahead and leave right now. You've gone nose deaf. What? You're oblivious to your effect on other guests. I so pack your things, friend. Hey, okay. Troll, you parasite, sucking all the fun. Put the disclaimer on it. Synthesizers can be overwhelming. For me, the only thing that you need to keep in the forefront, keep the spirit of why you use one. When you turn a knob, it does something cool or unexpected. You learn how to repeat said cool thing. You build a small internal database of cool instances that you can pull from right out of your pocket. End of sequence. It's easy in the synthesizer world to fall into the black hole, the void of a million ways to manipulate sound. Every synthesizer is a theme park. It's like every synthesizer is a Disney World or a Universal Studios, Six Flags, Jazzland. I'm from New Orleans. Learn, learn some things, learn your synthesizer, learn your tool, but keep your harness on the whole time, you know? Because the moment you become a mad scientist, you venture out too far into space, it's, it's hard to come back from. We just want you back home, back home making music. We, we want you here making songs with us. You're one of us. Google gobble one of us. There's a great big multiverse out there. This is a, let's get on the ride, do a couple loop de loos and go home. We good? We good? Found it. Come on, man, don't leave, don't leave me hanging. We're taking a small bite into the vast world of synthesizers. We're taking a look at the Arturia Micro Freak. So let's unbox it, take a look. This is the Arturia Micro Freak. It's a powerful hybrid digital analog synth. That's a 25 note PCB pressure sensitive with poly aftertouch keys. A very tasty analog filter. The knobs feel lovely. There are pressable encoders. This is a four voice polyphonic synth. Digital oscillator with multiple modes. The very nice pitch bend strip with two envelopes 
an arpeggiator and sequencer, a standard LFO, and an assignable modulation matrix that takes you to endless worlds of sound manipulation. A 64-step sequencer that's fully automatable. You can record up to four automations. You could edit notes per step. There's a Spice and Dice sequencer randomizer, 320 presets, and 64 of them that are user assignable. A handy OLED screen with tons of connectivity on the back for USB, a CV and gate out, analog clock, a MIDI in and out, and of course your output. When you register your device, you can download the MIDI control center where you can update your presets, your wavetables, and other device settings. It weighs about two pounds. That's great for travel and small studio setups. And you can pick one up right now for 405 US. Boom. Really small, light, very, very cool looking synthesizer. Look at those keys, that PCB keyboard. The keys don't press in, those are touch sensitive keys so you can manipulate them with pitch bend and different velocity. And you guys know me, my favorite part about any piece of gear. Oh, button click factor. Oh yeah. The buttons feel amazing. The knobs, the knobs are knobs, they click in. It really feels good when you're flying around the cockpit. It's very light, very compact. Great part of a mobile setup if you want to carry a synth around. And because of the MIDI capabilities, really love using it as a sound bank when I hook it up to my larger setup. Four note polyphonic, it's very small and beastie. Let's get it to the desk, play around with some sounds. Come with me to the desk. One, two, three. All right. All right, all right, all right. Matthew McConaughey, I don't know, anyone? is Arturia makes the best sounding oscillators in the game. Take it from me, Morgan Freeman. Little Morgan Freeman. All right, they have everything pretty much laid out in a manner that you can understand. It's very simple. You have your matrix section, which is on the top left. You have your OLED screen that, um, that gives you the feedback depending on the parameter that you select and you can cycle through. You have your, you have your paraphonic button that turns on and off your paraphonic and polyphonic options. Your preset knob lets you cycle through your presets. There's a save button there. You can save whatever changes you've made to your, your preset. You have the utility feature that lets you cycle through the different settings on the unit. You have your master volume on the far right. You have the glide option. You have your digital oscillator section. Now, the digital oscillator section allows you to cycle through the different types of, of sounds and the modes. You have your basic waves. You have your super wave. You have your wave table. Car plus Strauss. The analog. Wave shaper. Your two op FM format chords. You have your speech. You have your modal noise. You have your saw bass. You have your you have your harm. All the meat and potatoes of your tone starts with your digital oscillator. You could select your type of meat and potato. Then you can further tweak it via the wave, timber, or shape knobs. You have this very tasty analog filter. With three different types of filters, you have your low pass. So three different types for the analog filter. And then you also have your resonance knob. You can get really nasty with it if you need to. Oh yeah. 
You have your cycling envelope with three different modes. You have your envelope, your run, and your loop. You have your octaves. You also have your arpeggiator section. And you can determine how many octaves the arpeggiator cycles through. One, two, three, or four. You could adjust the rate or the swing. Holding down the shift button allows you to access the secondary function that's labeled on the knob. There's the LFO section with different shapes that you can cycle through. And then finally you have your envelope section on the far right. You can toggle the amp mode on and off, adjust the attack, decay, sustain, and the filter amount, all the usual suspects. And then you have your pitch bend, and then you have your pitch bend bar. And there are lots of ways that you can really dig in and manipulate the sound. The presets have a really good offering of the sounds that you can generate with this. Really inspiring sounds, really easy to get lost in the different worlds that this, this synth provides, and a really great core level synthesizer to get your hands dirty if you're if you're new to this or a novice at this, or you just want to keep it simple and keep the spirit alive and having fun in, in, in such a little package. I love this thing because there's so many inspirational sounds. Love that it's a great entry level synthesizer that you can really get your hands on and dig into very basic concepts of audio synthesis, get you feeling, get you moving in a different direction. And the Micro Freak does exactly that in such a small package, fits right on my desk. That really sweet sounding analog filter, cutting off that top end. And if I ever need to venture out in my productions, I just load this guy up and I'm in another world. So that's why I really like it. So that's the Arturia Micro Freak. I hope you guys uh, like this video. In a couple of videos in the future I have planned, I'm going back to some larger synths, some larger sound making 
uh, keyboard. So you hit that subscribe button, like button, leave me a comment, let me know what you guys think. I hope this video offered a little bit of value. Hopefully it encouraged you to step inside the world of synthesis, be a mad scientist, but also come back down to earth and make some music with it as well. I wanna thank you guys again for watching. It's your boy Second Born. I will catch you on the next video.